This episode of Boss Rush After Dark is brought to you by, well, you. If you want to learn how to support our family of podcasts, head over to patreon.com slash boss rush media or search for us on the Patreon app on your smart device. Thanks for helping us build something better. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Boss Rush After Dark, the alternative podcast show for the Boss Rush Network. It's your boy, LeBron Dawkins, back in the house with my wonderful co-host, uh, the bright, exuberant, extraordinary Miss Stephanie Klimov. How's it going? Oh, hey, I missed you guys so much. Seriously, just missing one week of recording, and I'm just... Yeah, on Zelda week. I know, on Zelda week of all weeks, but I am so happy to be here. I miss you guys. It, 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 it threw you off, didn't it? It really did. Because I missed two weeks, and that was that was interesting. <laughs> interesting, maybe a little restful, whatnot. But you know, like it, it seemed like every time it was like as soon as I knew you guys would rap for the night, I was like, "Hey guys, how how was the recording?" <laughs> Stuff like that. Oh, it's, it, it's all good. You know what? Sometimes that what is it? The whole distance bond stronger, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. Yeah. That's yeah, I did. I did miss you. I did miss you guys those those couple Aww. of weeks though, uh, and uh, and also also the uh, that 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 you know I don't know like Corey how you how you feeling before I just start giving you like weird wow. ass like nicknames and whatnot how you feeling man? I'm I'm doing okay. I'm trying to come to terms with my <laughs> new uh, feelings, and it's uh, you know. It's... Oh, you know what? We should talk about that in a moment. Uh, but, but yeah, for the for for the people who may not have met this guy, uh, just just say just say hello to the ever the, the, the ever inspiring the motivator for the for the network here, Mr. Corey Derrick. Hey, dude. Hello. You said say hello, so I said hello. I mean, you say goodbye. I say hello. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So uh, so so it's been a while since the three of us have been together here for for After Dark. Yeah. yeah you made me host too. That was stressful. Jerk. And Stephanie wasn't here last week, and it was just both of us. You know, I like a little one v one time with Laurent. This is some very good smart water. I, I swear. <laughs> No, nah, um, no, nah, but uh, but okay. So Corey, because um, uh, yeah. because what people might not know about us is like we we chat amongst ourselves all week and stuff like that. So so um, so you had kind of a life change. Uh, did you want to mention any of it? You don't really have to, you know. I mean, so it, it's not like anything really drastic in my life happened. I just he found, uh, he found Jesus. Everybody. Uh. <laughs> like the name in uh. No, uh, he's, he's trying to lay hands on Stephanie for the for the past two weeks now. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> no, I uh, so I, I don't know if I mentioned it on the show la- uh, last week or a couple weeks ago or whatever, but I I went I went to the doctor and uh, I got checked out for some uh, mental health things um, like. Uh, ADHD and uh, you know some sort of existence on the the spectrum or uh, you know depression and anxiety definitely so I have um, some medication that I've been taking and it's it's made me kind of tired and and you know other weird feelings that I can't quite explain. Uh, but you know, it's, uh, I've, I've seen a change and, you know, some of it is, is good. I think a a lot of the things that used to give me great stress and anxiety, like things for no reason, uh, you know, like when my kids would do stuff or be loud because they're children and don't know better. Um, you know, when I have a lot of things to do, I've become more focused on things like that, you know, to get stuff done. Uh, but some of it, I feel, I don't know if it's good or not yet. Like 
some of the medicine has made me like super tired. Like I took more naps this past weekend than I have in the last like five years. <laughs> um, mm. You know, and it would make me kind of spacey and, and kind of, you know, kind of out of it a little bit. And so I'm kind of taking it one step at a time and just trying to be uh, more. I don't want to say I, I'm trying to be more aware of what I'm doing when I'm on it so that when I'm not on it, I can. I'm trying to, like, see what the differences are and trying to really, mm-hmm. you know, plan it, plan out my day. And, you know, but I think, uh, you know, I'm really trying to be open about it and uh you know even if certain people don't want to hear things like that like you know my i know i look i i I love my parents you know and i actually had a good talk with my dad about it um the other day but like look i i love my mom but she's the kind of person that doesn't think these things exist (laughs) you know like mental health disorders exist so uh you know that was kind of but like I like I told my wife, I'm like, I'm not going to hide, you know, something that's affecting me just because somebody doesn't want to hear it. You know, if they have a problem with it, then they can deal with it on their own, you know. But um, I don't know. It it was kind of a down, up, down, up week. You know, I, I felt really like when things were happening, like when I went to the doctor and he started telling me this stuff after I left the doctor, I kind of felt really down about a lot of it because like I knew something was, you know, that feeling when you feel something is wrong, but then you hear somebody else say it and confirm it or want to test you for it or something. Yeah. Yeah, And you just kind of get that gut feeling. That's like, Oh, that kind of sucks. But you know, again, my, my wife pulled through and, and you know, it's uh, I feel bad. I feel better. Yeah. You know, I think it's what eight or nine days later, as of the time of this recording, and you know, I feel better about myself and the whole situation and stuff. And I'm just, you know, grateful just, you know, for her and friends and stuff. A side note: obviously, this would not be discussion for on there. But if you have any questions about medication and stuff and what to expect and side effects, other than your obviously your actual provider and probably a re, you know a pharmacist, you can always, you know, run it by me because the the thing about medications with regard to mental health, some work right away. Some take six to eight weeks. Some have side effects that your body just adjusts to and gets over in a couple weeks, whereas some are not, and they actually get worse and you need to change them. And unfortunately, that is a space that also sometimes will require a lot of trial and error. Some people, they kind of get knock it out of the park the first medication they try others unfortunately like myself i went through kind of a lot which hopefully you're the former not the latter but if you ever need to bounce any ideas or thoughts off off me just wanted to share that out there because it, it's a definitely almost like an art in a weird messed up way when it mm-hmm. comes to medications and mental health because i don't want to speak for you i know f- for me when i started being on it, i was afraid like I want to treat myself because I feel like something's wrong, but I don't want to change. Is it going to Mm -hmm. change me? Mm -hmm. Um, Thankfully, at this point in my life, I do not feel that's the case. But that's because I finally found the right regimen and I've kind of knocked off like a lot of the the extra shit. Yeah. Um, And I'm not like I'm not really going to talk about this a whole lot on other shows, but like I know you know, some people who listen to the other shows listen to this. And, you know, if, if I sound kind of, I have a, I have a hard time finding words to say, you know, like trying to get stuff out. And, uh, I have noticed that a little bit. So if I just seem kind of tired or can't get the right words out or anything, that's, this is why I think so. Um, you know, but I, I'm glad I took this step. It was a hard step that I kind of just ignored for a long time. I mean, you guys know I ignored it for a long time. And, uh, you know, it was big. It was a big step for me, I think. So anyways, that's uh, that's what's happening with me. Thanks for for, for sharing. Yeah.
Thanks for sharing. Like, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, maybe I kind of pulled it out of you, which, you know, that's my bad. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I would have prepared something better. Yeah, I, you know, it's fine. Uh, I was, well, I was planning on talking about it eventually. I just, you know, I wasn't, I thought we had a, I thought we were going to go a different direction this episode. <laughs> First. I mean, no, but we're, you know we're, still, we're still going in that direction. And it's I a know. great tie-in because even though by the time this comes out, it will no longer be, but this is May 31st, day of recording. We're finishing off um, Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, so again, that's a great tie-in because I... I'm a big uh, supporter of, you know, mental health for a variety of reasons. I did the NAMI walk, um, and, you know, and, all, and stuff like that. But like at the end of the month, when we go into June, I kind of have this bittersweet thing because I'm like, man, I always want to promote and keep mental health top of mind every month. But I don't know if that's necessarily me criticizing the fact that May is a dedicated month for it. But, you know, just a PSA. May mental mental health month, but take care of your mental health always. Yes, do that, everybody. So, be uh be conscious and be kind of you know don't be afraid to ask for help or go seek help or you know voice your opinion on if you feel like something is wrong because there are people that will help. Yeah. All right. So, um, so, you know what, actually I do want to, I do want to ask one, one question though, like, uh, because you kind of, you kind of said it, um, um, are your adjustment, your, uh, how are you adjusting right now to the, to the meds? Like, uh, are you on one pill? Are you on multiple pills? Cause, uh, cause uh, actually, uh, cause I know, I know somebody, uh, they're on, they're on three different pills, but they're, mm-hmm. they're, we- they're being weaned off of two of them. Uh, well, right now I'm on two different medications. I'm not a hundred percent sure what they're called. Uh, my wife would know. I could ask, I could ask her, uh, no, one is, uh, one is an antidepressant and one is that it's like this, it's an antidepressant that, oh, uh, they treat a lot of people with ADHD with Oh, actually. Okay. okay. Uh, I think it starts with a B. I'm not sure. I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say it on the air because it's your private, pri- not private, well, I don't, privacy. Well, I don't care. Uh, it's fine. You can say whatever you want. Uh, and then I'm on this uh, this anxiety medication that's take as needed. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, so, you a, have to, you have, so you have to control that yourself. Yeah. So I can take it up to three times a day mm-hmm. uh, as needed. Oh, wow. So that's the one that kind of makes me spacey and, you know, kind of uh, zone out a little bit and kind of not, I don't know, that it kind of makes me feel weird. That's the one that makes me feel weird. But uh, um, it does help with anxiety. It, it The thing that bothers me a little bit about that medication, though, is that it like makes me feel like I don't care, you know? Which is mm. like I don't know if that's what I really want to feel when I take something, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So that's that's kind of the situation. Uh, I, I've it, this week I feel much more adjusted to it than I did last week. Uh, like the first day, I t- the first day I took it, I felt tired, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really feel a whole lot else. Uh, so it's weird because like some of the side effects for the the one medication they take every day like happen right away and then some of them don't happen for a couple weeks so Mm -hmm. uh i guess we'll see when that happens but that's where i'm at okay cool um, well, just, well, just know this, um, just know this, uh, just you mentioning that, you know, like, uh, you know, like help, well, I've been saying this for, for a while, but it also helped me realize that I probably need to just go ahead and start d- getting ready to double down on it. That I definitely need to like talk to like somebody, you know, for just for my, for my own mental health and stuff like that. Um, uh, because, uh, because, because, um, I'm just one of those people that, uh, and, and, um, 
And uh, I'm one of those people that I run around and I'm always like, you know what? Nobody wants, nobody wants to hear my problems. So, you know, like I, I always keep it bottled up and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And uh, I was talking to a friend because um, that buddy of mine from a while back that, you know, like we had this suicide scare of, right. You know, um, mm-hmm. um, you know, he, um, I've been trying to get a hold of him since his birthday. His birthday was in February. Uh, and, you know, he just wasn't answering my calls, returning my texts and stuff. I knew he was, well, I knew for the most part he was okay. And, you know, like he was at least upright, you know, because mm-hmm. like I would either see like stuff from him on social media or he would, he would reply to like some stuff if, uh, in, in, in a group chat that we're in, you know, stuff like that. So I knew, knew it was all right. And I also knew like his roommate would contact me immediately if there was something going on, you know, with him as far as that goes, stuff like that. And, um, and yeah, so like, um, but yeah, like I was getting to the point where I was starting to get worried about him. So like I, I called his roommate, you know, like we talked for a little bit and everything. And, you know, we, 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 we all, we both said the same thing at the same time, you know, like we, it's like, it's like, we want to get help, but you know, like there was, there's so much, there's so much stigma behind it, you know, like when, when men ask for help, you know, and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, and also, like I said, like, I always feel like I don't want to burden people with my problems, you know, and, and stuff like that. So that means like, you know, sometimes I don't want to, I don't want to bring it on my friends and whatnot. And then the craziest thing happened, uh, like a month or so ago, like I was, I was talking to my boyfriend and I was telling him like, just, I, I was, you guys, you guys witnessed it. I I had a bad month in April. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I had a bad month and it wasn't, and it wasn't, it was just like, I was like, I was, I was sleeping a lot, you know, like, um, like it was like, I was checking out and stuff like that. And, um, and, uh, my boyfriend, like we, like, we were, we were having a talk, you know, and it was, it, it, it was, it wasn't one of those, our, our relationship is in jeopardy talks, but it was one of those talks that kind of felt like, like that, if that makes any sense. And, um, and you know, like, um, I just kind of told him, I was like, I just kind of told him, I was like, you know, like, I'm just, there's just so much stuff going on. There's so much stuff that's on my mind, you know, and like, you know, and, and, and there's so much stuff that's changing with me. Like, you know, like I'm looking at my relation, our relate our relationship, in a different light and everything. Um, not saying that, you know, like I'm checking out the relationship more like this is the most serious relationship I've had in a long, in a long time and stuff like that. So like it's doing things to my mind, but also like I'm trying to like in, in, in my preparation for like what may be the next steps of him and stuff like that, you know, like I'm also trying to think like, am I going to be a provider? Am I, you know, like what type of, what type of partner am I going to be and stuff like that? So, so yeah. So like, so of course like the job thing came up and you guys know, like the job's been putting me through the ringer, you know, but it's not in a terrible way and nothing like that, you know? And, 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 uh, and he just stopped me for a second. He's like, he's like, Hey, he's like, I'm here with you. He, he, if you ever need to talk about this stuff, just let me know. <laughs> and that's because he actually does go to therapy. <laughs> yeah. And, that's the thing too, is like, that's the next step for me, I think is, is therapy. And it's not like my, my wife has kind of been helping me look for someone, uh, just cause I've been so busy and she's always trying to help me, uh, because that's what she does. Uh, so that's like, that's the next step. But like, like you said, Lauren, you said you keep putting it off and putting it off and that's how I was, but it wasn't the like, I mean, yeah, I guess stigma was a part of it, but it was also like somebody else somewhere has it worse than I do. So I'm just that's that's how I, that's how I thought. That's how I think about it. And so I just tried to ignore it because I was like somebody else somewhere has it worse. And, mm-hmm. you, you know, I, I mean, I've told you guys that, too, before where something's bothering me and it's just like, well, you know, just kind of ignore it. But it's you don't have to ignore it and that was the big hurdle for me i think yeah if you want to be a patreon producer head on over to patreon patreon.com slash boss rush media and find out which tier is right for you our patreon producers at the five dollar tier or higher for this month are adriel munger austin campbell celeste roberts christian s sana dirig francisco santilan and rebecca jewel Thank you for your continued support. Anyways, how are well, you feeling? Are you good? Are you good? Me? Or yeah. Well, me? Both of you, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a few days out. I'm a few days out from my 48th birthday. I'm a few days out from it and everything oh, like man. that. It's coming up. 
yeah so um so i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty good like you know like um it's funny it's funny how like you know certain times certain times of the year like your like your mindset changes and stuff like that it's usually new year's it's usually your birthday and it's or it's usually like when a major like event happens like you know like somebody really close to you passed away or something like that you know your mindset changes and stuff like that and i can i can feel it i can feel the the onset of a of a, of a new mindset you know coming on for me and stuff like that it is actually a very positive mindset and i'm really hoping this time like i can actually like grab it and be, be energized off of it and stuff like that right you this know? might be like the I, kind of up updraft so to speak that you need yeah yeah because um because i want to be more successful with my job and stuff like that i want to you know i also want to you know be a better you know be a better more you know conducive partner for 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 my partner you know and stuff like that you know um i just want to make things happen like you know like i'm trying to there's some things about my life that I'm trying to change. Like, you know, like, um, like I want to, I, I'm lucky that I'm in a, I'm in a line of work to where like, you know, like, uh, like as long as my mind stays sharp, like I can do this job for a long time. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm closer to 50 than I am the, to, than I am the 40. And the fact that, you know, retirement age for most people is somewhere between 65 and 67. But if I take care of my, if I take care of my, my body as well as I can take care of my mind and stuff, like I can, I can probably think about retiring somewhere in my seventies, you know, you know, and, you know, still be able to like, with this job I have, you know, have that spare time, like travel, do that stuff, you know, do the stuff that people usually do in their retirement, but still be gainfully employed, making money in the process and stuff like that. And like, I want to be able to like, I want to, I'm trying to I'm trying to put myself on a short track to like make enough money so I can start in like start investing, you know, because um, I start doing stock. So, you know, I don't have to bust my ass working so hard just to get paychecks when I have a different revenue stream come in that I can supplement it and stuff like that. And not just supplement it, maybe even surpass it and overtake it, you know, stuff like that. So I feel a new mindset coming on and, you know, like to tomorrow is june 1st you know so we're almost halfway through the year you know and it's and it's been a crazy year like you know like oh my dare gosh. i dare i say you know they're about to declare covid's over you know we know that's a lie you know um we've got we've got all this bullshit going on like like ukraine's still under siege fucking fucking the government's acting acting a fucking fool right now, you know, with a debt with a debt ceiling looming looming close and all that stuff, you know, and and you know, like all this, all these all these dumbass people railing against quote unquote wokeness, you know, which is which I think is ridiculous. Like you know, the Little Mermaid's doing awesome in theaters right now, um, but at the same time, mm. assholes are assholes are really boycotting Chick Fil A, which you know, I think it's kind of ironic. They I think they should have done that like ten years ago. <laughs> but it's the wrong people boycotting chick-fil-a <laughs> well i mean like it, the, the big one right now too is what bud light or something it's like it's but it's target actually it's, right now it's target oh right light. yeah right now it's target bud light was the, bud light was the one and i don't know like uh like like if you just look at stuff and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna shine too big of a light on it if you look at stuff basically i don't i don't know um I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Corey, and I'm sorry, Stephanie, because I know you have y'all, y'all are y'all are are of that descendancy. But I swear, white people are just fucking afraid of everything. I mean, that's not a false statement. Yeah, white people are fucking afraid of everything. Like you know, like like I I hate to, I, I I I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it as I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it as a person of color here. Like we're not trying to take anything the fuck away from you. Like I. <laughs> Like you I aren't. Mean, I oh my gosh! I, I can't say it any more plainly. Like you know, like but but you know, I'm I'm forty something years old, and for thirty something of my years, I've been hearing that they're they're coming for your jobs. They're they're you know like the you know like the n words of fucking our women and stuff like you know I've I've, I've heard it all, and guess what? That's that's not even the case. We the n words not... are fucking our women. There's that's a natural yeah. fear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I I didn't realize you were going in this direction. I thought it was more like the white people are just so terrified because everything they say is com- going to come out racist or sexist. Well, there's or- the, was it, well, there's that too because like you know like um there there's that, but I honestly feel like you know like I feel like I, I feel like for the most part like it, there's there's just, I there's an identity crisis and you know, it's not so much identity politics is going on. It's identity mm. it's an identity crisis because you know like you know like you know, like America is this melting pot of like different races and cultures and stuff like that and stuff like that. And, um, and, you know, 
it is hard to define what white culture is. I know there, I know there is a white culture here in the, in the United States, and not just like rednecks and you know, like people who are trying. Yeah, to isn't it just something. girls drinking their pumpkin spice latte, wearing Uggs, and like? <laughs> that's, 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 right, that that's my favorite kind that's of white basic. culture. <laughs> that's basic. <laughs> but I mean, but but yeah, like I I, I don't know, like it, I feel like I feel like I feel like sometimes like. I feel like sometimes like what, what white people really are mad about is this whole fear of missing out. Cause you know, like we're, we're, we're getting ready to slide into pride month and, you know, I'm not saying pride month to be celebrated by people who don't act or not part of the actual, like, you know, like, like lifestyle there, you know, stuff like that. But we just had the Asian American, Asian, the Asian American Pacific Islander month that, that's wrapping up right now, you know? Um, and, and Stephanie, I'm going somewhere with this. So get ready. <laughs> No, no. Uh, we we had Black History Month a few months ago. We had we had uh, we had a uh, uh, Hispanic and Latin X like like Heritage Month. You know, like right after that and stuff like that. No, actually, we had Women's History Month followed by Hispanic and um and Latin X month. I think. Uh, but you know, I don't know. Like, I, I I really feel like one of the major problems is like you know like like the the white people who are very vocal about this stuff, you know, are the ones that they just have this FOMO situation. And that's not what's, that's not even what it's about because like, you know, ultimately it's all, it's all fucking American history. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the victors write the history books, right? So that's Interesting. how it works. I mean, are you talking about the people that di- I shudder <laughs> as these words fall from my lips? The people that go, Oh, why, why isn't there a white history month or something? Yeah. Like- yeah. I almost I mean, made that joke at the top of the show, but I thought that would be a poor taste. Well, I mean, if you were being meta about it, I guess it'd be funny. But I guess the, the, way, the way I look at it, especially being biracial, like being white and also like a minority, like <laughs> I think, you know, what those folks are not understanding is at least at this point in time, who knows, maybe in like 100 years, whites will be a minority, you know, whatever. Um, these months are created, I would like to think, because in this country we are a melting pot however it's to recognize the minorities and the struggles that they they got to coming to this country so Mm -hmm. it's almost and i know like i i and the only reason why i'm using a religious example is just because it's an example um of a teaching that i learned um that you know people would complain like what is it what is it the the is it the prodigal son the story where there's a, a dad who has two sons one son's mm-hmm. like a good son mm-hmm. and he does his work and then the the shit son that goes takes half of his inheritance and squanders it and whatever and he returns and the father is so happy and he throws a party to celebrate the return of his wayward son the other part of the story is the son that always obeyed is like hey how come i don't get recognized i've been mm-hmm. doing all the work i do that i I'm getting to my point here is I think that, you know, these months are here to celebrate the people that have, have kind of, they've had a history of struggle. Women did have a struggle, you know, the African Americans definitely had a struggle. Asian American, like we've LGBTQ, like the, you know, the, 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 you know, we've all had a struggle and we want to, you know, celebrate and recognize them because of that, not because, when I say the collective word we, I can't speak for people. We don't hate whites or we want to exclude you whites. It's just mm-hmm. that y- you kind of were there from the quote unquote beginning when you kicked the Native Americans out. Like, So it's it's not like we hate you when we don't recognize you. It's like, no, no, no. We got to recognize the people that were under recognized in this country. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of the I mean, way I see it. Yeah, it's a, also the, that's also as, the way I see it. Yeah. So, but yeah. I mean, those people, they're not going to get it. They're always going to be like, oh, why is there no white person month? Or why is there no men's history month or something? I don't know. Um, is there a For men's real. history month? I hope. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, now I'm looking for it. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I, no. Wait, there is a men's history month. No way. Not wait, a- wait, wait. Why, wait, why isn't there a men's history month? Yeah. No. Should there be a men's history men month? Men wrote history. <laughs> Up until it, 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 it could maybe be. You recently, know you know. Though I don't need, I don't need that. I don't need that to be a, to put a target on my back, though. So I'm glad there is none. <laughs> but but t- kind of go back to it, like, and this might be a, like I don't hope. I'm not wishing or hoping or whatever. I'm just saying, if we're all speaking that line, that line of thinking, Laurent, the only mm-hmm. way 
I can view there ever being a Caucasian History Month. Like to even conceptualize that being a reality, reality is if mm -hmm. centuries from now, this can't be now, like centuries, where we have blended to a point where perhaps the what we know today as quote unquote white people have become a minority, like something has happened and there's something that we need to look back and recognize. Again, that's not me wishing or hoping or even expecting. I'm just saying if we were to theorize how things occur and are created that's the only way i'd see it happening but they don't need it right now yeah i and i'll and i apologize to you guys because i i went on a serious tangent there and no, <laughs> that's my bad no it's a it's first of all it is still very much on topic and and it's a very good point and you know we haven't really touched a lot on race so much in a long while and I, i'll admit Sorry, this is my tangent now, super quick. This is where I have my own identity crisis because of a lot of woke stuff, but in a good way. Like, these things happen for a reason, right? I have an identity crisis on my white side because part of me wants to hate my white side because of all that's happened. But then at the same time, like, well, there's no need to hate it. It's just, that's just who you are. It, it's, yeah. there's a lot of, uncomfort when it comes to whether you're white or just talking about whites <laughs> whiteness i guess i don't know you know i don't know now now i'm talking out of my ass please save me oh no you're you're fine you're fine <laughs> um but you know what this is the perfect time though because i know you had a topic for us tonight <laughs> i mean it all started with, you know, Mental Health Awareness Month. It being, well, the end of May, May's over, and Corey was kind enough to kind of walk through a little bit of his exper uh, experience lately. Um, we have a lot of month-long observances. So May is Mental Health Awareness. L like, Laurent, you just mentioned a whole bunch right there. A lot of the more <laughs> serious and important ones, at least, right? Yeah. So I just yeah. kind of want to touch on that topic just – Generally speaking, I want to talk about the serious ones and then also like the ridiculous ones as well. Like, what do we, how do we feel about these month observances? Do we feel like they actually do anything or are they kind of like a waste of, not a waste of time, but more like, yeah, is it really doing anything? Um, just generally, what are your thoughts? And then because the, on the flip side, we have stupid ones. And if you can, and, um, entertain uh what is it what's a phrase entertain me for a moment let me give you examples of the stupid one i don't want to call them stupid ones no, don't don't call it stupid ones we don't want to we don't want to inflame somebody tonight <laughs> no but like february there is national bird feeding month march is mustache march which i guess isn't stupid it's, it's silly and i like and that's kind of cool um let's see april that's jazz appreciation month um Second Chance Month. I'm what's Second Chance Month? Uh, observed in the United States during April since 2017 is a nationwide effort to raise awareness of the oh collateral consequences of a criminal conviction. Okay, never mind. That's actually kind of serious. But when you, that's kind of serious. When you name it Second Chance Month, I'm like, is it just all second chances? See, so right? We, yeah, we need to educate ourselves. See, I'm learning. Um, May is a lot. Um, okay, May. Zombie Awareness Month. I don't understand. Okay. They don't even exist, but there's a Zombie Awareness Month. <laughs> I don't understand. I had a dream last night that our house was being attacked by a zombie horde, and I I had I locked my wife and my kids in the bedrooms to save their lives while I fought off the zombies that invaded our house. That must have been terrifying. Oh my gosh, I woke up in a cold sweat. Thought I was dying. Oh. It's fine though. Anyways. Okay. Here's zombies. so Ron, like this and Corey, like this is what I mean. And July shockingly is just super short. There's two. One is Disability Pride Month, which is great. We need more eyes on disability. But then on the other side of the coin, it's also National Ice Cream Month. <laughs> okay, hey, like, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong I, with that. I guess. Um Let's see. No, it's a little. It's 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 insipid. It, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting. National Honey Month is in September. 
Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. National Pizza Month is October. Um, okay, I can get down with that. <laughs> November, especially, especially breakfast and dessert pizzas. I can get down with that. Hey, no, not November made it on this list. Hell no. Hell no. Why is that? Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think people I, I don't think a lot of people understand that, you know, like I've 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 read like I've read like, you know, like through because I used to be a th- I used to be big about anatomy and stuff like that. And, you know, um, and, you know, unless unless you have a unless you have a sexual addiction, like actually like just going just going full just going full cold turkey, you know, from actually like ejaculating is a it, it can cause a problem to your body uh, 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 physically like do you get blockage or something well it's not it, <laughs> it, it's not so much that like the uh, like 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 the uh, like like the like like it like the your body just won't respond the same way it will and and people think that and people think that might that might not be that might be a good thing but you know like you know like some people wind up, you know, like becoming premature ejaculators because of it, or some people wind up taking way too long to ejaculate and stuff like that. And I'm talking about men here because no, not November is supposed to be like to like to like you know like is more geared towards men and stuff like that. Of course, like one of the causes is you know like um like they also like during during no 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 not November we also like grow our beards as long as possible and then we donate. Uh, I believe we shave and donate that hair to a to a cause or something like that. They're not um, related though, right? No, not November and Movember. Or they just November, born? November. Yeah, they are. Well, technically, technically, you- technically, most guys do one and the other at the same time. Wait, what does growing your hair out and donating it have to do with not ejaculating? Like, I'm just I have, like, no, I have, I have no fucking, I have no fucking idea. I feel man, like this is I don't all, understand. I, I've, I feel like this is all part of toxic masculinity. But you know what? Do I know? Because I just, tr- I probably just triggered someone using that phrase just now. Oh, so yeah, so. What do you guys think of month long observances? I'm not against like the fun ones either. It's just, you know, it's interesting. Like we as humans like to kind of designate times, places and categorize things. What are your thoughts? Like June is L- um, LGBTQ month, which I think is great. Like I like yeah. love pride month, but then I do the whole, Oh, we should, always have pride every month of the year but that's also me just being stupid silly yeah yeah well that that's where that's where the whole pandering part comes in because it, because it feels like you know like why are we why are we showcasing it you know at one specific time when it should mm. be happening all the time right um so i get i get you on that one but i think but i think where people get kind of lost in lost in the in the weeds you know technically is like you know like you know like it's the month. It's just it's just the t- the time when you know, like someone decided it was a good time to focus on that. You know, like and not say like we only focus on it this time, even though it's kind of funny. Like you go to you walk into stores and like as soon as July first happens, like all the all the pride shit's gone. <laughs> yeah, and then all the pride. Now I know what you mean more by pandering because I wasn't sure what direction you meant with that, but I think that's kind of a core of what low key bothers me sometimes, because especially for pride. I mean, everybody celebrates pride differently. Some are super loud and proud and Mm -hmm. let's go. Other people are just more like a little more somber about it because, you know, a lot of the sacrifices and and pains that those in that community had to go through just to be accepted. So, like, there's many different ways to celebrate it. But then, like, I kind of see a lot of people just posting things like, oh, Pride Month or whatever month and, like, I, I I start to like question how genuine some of that is, and and it, I kind of want to puke in my mouth a little bit. But like that could be <laughs> me being judgmental. I don't know. Like it just sometimes I just get overwhelmed with this recognition of a month to the point where like I can't tell what's genuine and what's not. And I'm not to say yeah. we shouldn't I, I have. I feel you on that too. Yeah, it's not that we shouldn't. I don't know. It's just I don't know if there's anything I could do about. It, but I just wanted to share that. Corey, what say you? Speak. I mean, so <laughs> as as the white guy on this panel. No, I'm just oh, kidding. God, uh, here we go. <laughs> no, I no. I think 
I think as someone who had to really grow into learning, not only learning about all this stuff coming from a, you know, really a place where like, if you weren't like religious and, you know, I'm going to be honest, white, like you were taught to be like afraid or don't go, you know, around this area or whatever because of the way people looked. And it's as someone who kind of grew into learning and accepting a lot of these things, right. Mm -hmm. As, as I started getting older and, you know, getting, you know, I lived in Columbus for two years, right out of high school or, you know, working, getting jobs where there's a bunch of diverse people. I remember, you know, when I started working at the restaurant, like, I had a friend there, but at first I like didn't understand because he was gay and he was like the first person I really knew that was gay. Right. And, uh, you know, and then we ended up becoming pretty good friends throughout our time there. But like, uh, you know, that was the, my first experience with the, with a gay person or, you know, when I lived in Columbus and had, black teammates on football team for the first time or you know like it was there was a lot of like growing up real fast is kind of the statement you would use and um you know as i've gotten older and learned different things and still trying to be better about a lot of things like i think that yeah some people look at these awareness months or pride month or you know Black History Month is like silly and dumb, especially in the in the uh, you know climate that we're in at this moment. Um, kind of maybe coming out of it a little bit now, but like you know that whole those. We'll just say there was a rough four years, <laughs> not so long ago, that uh, really brought out the worst in a lot of people. Uh, that you know maybe. <laughs> Maybe or maybe don't look like me. I'm not sure. Was not there. Uh, but I think that for for everyone who thinks it's silly, I think I still think there's some good in it mm-hmm. because it reminds a reminder. Pe- yeah. It reminds people that you know, especially people that look like me and maybe grew up in a way that I kind of grew up, or it reminds people that there are people out there that are different and that being different is good and that you know a lot of us wouldn't exist if everybody was the same you know life would be boring life would be you know people would be boring and i mean i I have a lot of friends that are different than me now you know which is something i couldn't even say maybe 10 years ago and um, i'm i am grateful for that and i think that the awareness months are good reminders um, that people out there deserve to be treated better. Um, so that's kind of my take on it. I think That's a good point. And not to be yeah. the nerd here, but a science nerd here, but I am. I mean, even science genetics itself mm-hmm. favors mixing genetics because um, I'm sure you like read in stories like, people who you know inbreds like people who kind of keep it in the family kind of thing or keep it to (laughs) certain whatever like that's not good for genetics bad things happen Mm -hmm. you get deep you know genetics favors mixing and diversity that's how we become stronger and more resilient as a human race i know you're right and you know i myself even want to take a step further and not just make it a white person versus everybody else because it really shouldn't be like that though i feel like a lot of people want to make it like that no i feel like we all need to be reminded that we all are different um mm-hmm. you know for me you know I, I i'll admit like i was astounded when i said oh there's a, a disability month like you know what I have not taken the time to understand and recognize either just individuals with disabilities or families that are raising children with disabilities, which is something I am coming to understand more now that I have a child who is very healthy and fully capable of doing things, but then he's having play dates and I'm, I'm meeting parents with kids with disabilities. It's like, Whoa, hold on, you know, Mm -hmm. 
I'm further learning and being reminded of this. Yeah. And I think, you know, there's, I mean, there's different steps along the way. Like, I don't know, I get, I guess it kind of sounds silly in 2023, but like, you know, in 2002, 2003, 2004, like, like I said, like, I remember the, I remember the first black, I remember the first black person that, you know, we were, (laughs) I don't want to say taught to hate, but like, there's a strong suggestion that, you know, someone in my family was dating a black person and that was uh, not right or something. Right now, granted, there's a lot of other things wrong with this dude other than like him being black. Right. Like, I mean, he, (laughs) he was a drug dealer. He uh, beat, this person, I don't want to get. Well, it's an actual involved. like person so, problem. It's not. Yes, a it's a problem. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm getting at. Sorry if I made that sound weird. No, no. But you know, there's that, and then like, you know, my first my first gay friend, my you know, knowing other people, and then all of a sudden that stuff kind of became the norm. And I think the 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 thing that I am you know really trying to learn about now, um. And I'm sorry if this comes off as like rude or or disrespectful, but like the thing the thing I'm trying to learn more about now are I think the biggest struggle now is trans people, right? And like their struggle to try to be normalized now. And I fully support anybody to be who they want to be or be how they feel. Uh and I'm trying to learn more about it to be a better supporter, right? And, uh, you know, we've, we've you know, had people on. I don't know if they want to be, you know, quote unquote outed Out, or whatever. Outed. But, yeah, <laughs> I, I couldn't think of the right word. But, you know, like we've had them on, the, on shows before and they've all been great. You know, every mm-hmm. – and I, I – that's the I don't want to say it's a hurdle, but that's the thing that I'm trying to learn more about now. And, and so I can be a better person in that r- respect, too, you know, because I do support them. And uh, I think we had that topic a while ago of like, you know, the the well, that's the, the swimmer. We It was the, the episode we were talking about the swimmer. Mm. Um, I don't I don't remember. I'm trying to that's re- I'm trying that's to kind of that's kind of where I'm at now. Right. Is like, I want to be a better supporter to everybody. And so the only way to do that is to learn and ask questions. And I think that's, you know, going back to what, uh, you said, Laron, or, you know, we were, you guys were kind of joking, half joking about, right. But like, I think people are just afraid to ask questions because they're afraid they're going to get ridiculed for asking questions or, scared off by asking questions and so yeah you know that's that's kind of the thing now is like i how do you how do you learn more about people that are different than you without saying the wrong thing or offending someone or because like that's like the last thing i think any of us want to do is like offend somebody for asking questions right most of us i think yeah yeah, most of us. No, yeah, I agree because um, I want to share with you, Corey, too. Like for me, when it comes to trans community, like I because I'm I'm not I'm not trans, but as part of LGBTQ community, I I felt I feel comfortable with them. But I think the part where I want to ask more questions and get thoughts and feedback on, but I'm terrified to because all I see is like really excessive responses on social media and news when I'm sure the majority of people are not like that is again, because I'm in pharmacy, because I'm in the medical field, there's a lot of debate at what age, Mm -hmm. uh, when someone could either be considered trans or when therapy should be done. Like, you know, do you really want to interfere with a child's hormone therapy? When does someone actually really like, I have my own opinions about it, which I will not state now, but I want to have a conversation with re like, tra- like actual trans people. So I can be further educated. Cause I can't come to a mm-hmm. conclusion just on my own. Same. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, Same. I mean, I might have the medical part of it and I'll I'll just say my reason stem from the medical aspect, but I still, you still want to know, but like, I do have that little bit of a fear. Like if I ask questions, what if they take it as I'm anti-trans? Cause I'm not, it's just more like, I want the perspective. Mm -hmm. I I want the Mm -hmm. thoughts. Mm -hmm. Um, So I wonder if anybody that we know would be willing to come on Mm. a show like this and kind of, you know, be a part of the conversation, you know, because I don't think it's like, to be honest, I don't think it's worth having the convert like anything past what we've already done. Yeah. And, and, and at this point, without having someone here yeah. that can represent those questions and, that would and be discuss really cool them, if right? we could as a good after yeah. dark episode, just side. Mm-hmm. Note. Yeah. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'll reach out to them and see if they would be okay doing that. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'll present it and like, a, I'm going to try not to be, offensive about it because I, I really <laughs> like these you know yeah please don't. you know please I, don't. I really like these people right and I'm, I'm trying to be vague but you know I, I i really respect their journey and their you know because i'm sure i'm sure that's really hard to do right just as you know leron i'm sure it was hard for you and stephanie i'm sure it was hard for you in a different respect of like kind of accepting and coming out right you know so, all right. Sorry if that was a little long winded. No, 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 no. good. No. Um, well, I... <laughs> just try not to over explain myself, but I think I did. So, whoops. Well, it, 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 it's it's <laughs> sincere, and, and we can tell that. At least, you know, I can tell that. But uh, since we are going into June, let me actually say what, what we have for June, right? So we we uh, we did touch upon just now LGBT. Uh, I need to update the, the, the letters here. Uh, Pride Month, which I'm very excited for. But it's also yeah. African American Music Appreciation Month. Oh, that's right. That is this month. That is in June. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is specific to Canada only, but ALS Awareness Month for June. Wait, uh, ALS? Like the Lou Gehrig's disease? That one? Yeah, but it says Canada, okay. so maybe we have a different month for that. Um, it's like for- Thanksgiving all over again. <laughs> In the UK, it's National Smile Month. Um, it's also Caribbean American Heritage Month. Hot diggity. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, National Safety Month, which is pretty broad, but I guess we can all remind ourselves to be safe, whether it's safe sex to wearing a helmet when riding a motorcycle. I don't know. <laughs> Happy June. I don't know. <laughs> Life's tough. Wear a helmet. Um don't be, uh, was it? Don't be a tool. Don't be. Oh, damn it! Don't be a don't fool. Be. Wrap your tool. Damn it! I messed it yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's true. Um, although, <laughs> Stephanie, I think you and I both failed miserably at that. Um, that's fine. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I have a a way that we can kind of wrap up this conversation. Is there any? month it could be a week or a day uh, any type of observance that you would like to have it, it might exist but i don't know but like i don't know if you feel like there's something missing is there a type of thing that you want to observe huh. hmm. i don't even i don't even know uh to be honest with you because <laughs> yeah. there's more than likely anything i can think of probably is already already is in existence okay but still we can just ignore that I, I'm pretty um, sure there is, if we're going beyond just a month, like whether it's a something day or something week, I'm pretty sure there's one for literally everything. But we're, this is just for fun, topical conversation. Well, well is there one, is there one for, for veterans or, mil, or, 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 or military uh, or, or, or service, service, servicemen and women? Is yeah. There for, you know what? It was actually May national military appreciation month. I had no idea. I had no idea. See, we should have like, we, we Which can't. is funny because, like, you would think it would be the same month that Veterans Day happens and not Memorial Day, you know? Yeah. Actually, okay, this is the r- quick rundown of May since it is. So, oh, it's the U.S. ALS Awareness Month, Asian Pacific okay. Heritage Month, Brain Tumor Awareness Month, Celiac Awareness Month, Haitian Heritage Month, International Masturbation Month, Jewish American Heritage Month, 
May Devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mental Health Awareness, National Bike Month, National Military Appreciation Month, National, so much I can't speak straight, National (laughs) Foster Care Month, National Guide Dog Month, National Pet Month, uh, National Stroke Awareness Month, and Zombie Awareness Month. Everything makes sense except for zombie awareness. I don't get that. Yeah, that that, that makes no so sense to me. So fucking either. stupid. I'm sorry. Um, got to be aware of the zombies. I, I don't know why I just X'd out of it, but I wonder if there's got to be a national like adoption awareness. Oh, there there probably is. An, an infertility awareness. Yeah. Um, I wonder. You know what would be nice? Because I'm all about family, but I want there to be like a chosen family month. Because there's a lot of support with those that are your chosen family. Oh, like like us. Yeah. 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 Caught up. I wonder if there's a mixed ethnicities awareness month. Like there probably is. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Right? I'm sure. All right. Well, you know, no answers needed. But for those that listen to our our After Dark podcast, if you want to chime in in the Discord, I would like your thoughts on what you would like an observance to be. If there's anything you think that's missing, yeah, let us know. What do you What do you want to celebrate, everybody? You know, hugs, not drugs. Hugs, not drugs. That that was. This is, a, this is a fun topic. This is a, this is a fun night of conversations and stuff yeah. like that. Like, like I, you know, I, you know, it's been a while since we had like a really, a really like deep retrospective like conversation, like how we how we began the be- beginning of the show, which may have been my fault. <laughs> I'm just glad uh, my topic wasn't lame. So yay! Great topic. Great topic. Laron, you didn't have a good topic. I know, I know, I'm lame. <laughs> Just kidding. You know what topic is great? Wait, hold on. Before you answer that, I know what I want. National Boss Rush Awareness Month. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh okay. yeah. We need to we need to hurry up and make that a fucking thing. Yeah. All right, all right. Sorry. Right. So what's what's a good topic? Oh, I was gonna say. Bed is something that should be celebrated. Yes, bed. <laughs> yeah, Sleep for awareness real. month. For, for real. For Starts real. Like, now. I'm, I'm, I'm about to, I'm like, as soon as we get down here, I'm going to frog splash <laughs> right to my bed. All right, well, let's, yeah. let's wrap it up. All right. Well, everyone, that has been another episode of Boss Rush After Dark. Uh, I just want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone that that's either hanging out and either listening to us uh, in the audio form or actually watching this in the video form when those when those are uploaded and stuff like that. Uh, also, a, a quick shout out to our patrons. Uh, with uh, we can't do this without you. I mean, we like doing it without you, but we really can't do this without you. <laughs> um, for all the information for how to get in contact with us, uh, or, as, or as well check out things that are going on at Boss Rush, or even learn more information about our Patreon. Uh, just check out the show notes uh, in the descriptor for either the podcast version of the show or the audio version of the show, and you will find it all. Um, on behalf of my host tonight, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you. You know, it's fun. We love you guys, and we're out of here. So, uh, so this has been another one of episode of Boss Rush After Dark, the show, the alternative podcast show of the network, where we talk about things that are not always content appropriate for the network. Corey, it looks like you have something to say. I don't. I was just finger gunning. Oh, you finger banging. Okay, I yep. get it. <laughs> finger <bang? Yes. laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's it for us tonight. We will be back for another all new episode of the show next week. So we can't wait to see you. Y'all take care. Pasta Bye-bye. la vista. Goodbye.